Welcome to The Growing Dentist by Dr. Ali. Before we begin, kindly like, share, and subscribe our channel for the upcoming videos. In this lecture, we will discuss the difference in male and a female skull. Human skull is the skeletal framework of the head of vertebrates composed of bones or a cartilage. It is anterior to the spinal column and is the bony structure that encases the brain. Its purpose is to protect the brain and allow attachments for the facial muscles. Let's look into the bones of skull. Skull is composed of two main parts. The two regions are the cranial and facial region. Human skull has a total number of 22 bones, being paired and unpaired. The calvaria, or the brain case, consists of eight bones. Paired bones are parietal and temporal, whereas unpaired bones are frontal, occipital, sphenoid, and ethmoid. Facial skeleton part has total number of 14 bones. Its paired bones are maxilla, zygomatic, nasal, lacrimal, palatine, and inferior nasal concha. Mandible and voma are the unpaired ones in it. We will now go through the different views of a human skull. The norma frontalis. It is also called the anterior view of the skull. This is roughly oval in outline, being wider above than below. The profile of the skull, or the outline of the skull, viewed from either side, is the norma lateralis. It is also called as the norma temporalis. The next one is the norma occipitalis. It is the posterior view of the skull, being convex upwards and on each side, and is flattened below. The calvaria, or norma verticalis, is the outline of the skull, as viewed from above. Norma basilis, it is the base of skull. When the mandible is removed, this view is achieved. Let's see how male skull differs from the females. Until puberty, there is a little difference between the skull of the female with that of the male. The skull of an adult female is, as a rule, lighter and smaller, and its cranial capacity is about 10% less than that of its male counterpart. Generally, male skulls are heavier, the bone is thicker, and the areas of muscle attachment are more defined. Most important skull differences between men and women are indicated by the letter value on the figure to the left, and described below. A is the cranial mass. In males, it is more blocky and massive compared to the females. For the female skull, the cranial mass is rounder, and it tapers or narrows at the top. B is the temporal ridge. This runs along the outer side of the upper skull, creating the square shape of the upper head. It is more prominent in males. C is the supraorbital margin. This is the ridge above the eyes. In females, it is sharper, while for the males, it is rather round and dull. D is the zygomatic bone, or the cheekbone. It lies under the lower eye ridge and it is more pronounced on the male skull. E indicates the mandible, or the lower jaw bone. For female's skull, it is rounded, while for the males, it is in a square shape. F is the frontal bone. Forehead structure terminates at the brow. The male forehead is lower and more slopping than the female's. G is the point of a cranial mass. Men have a deeper cranial mass. In other words, men have a stronger and denser cranial cavity. H shows the supercillary arch. It is large and pronounced in males than females. I is the gonium. It is the most posterior and inferior point on the angle of mandible. In males, it is more flared out and sharply angled when compared to females. J shows the teeth. Males' teeth tend to be larger than females. The average skull thickness for men is 6.5 mm, and the average for women is 7.1 mm. The average front to back measurement is 176 mm for men, and 171 mm for women, and the average width is 145 mm for men, and 140 mm for women. All of these features vary considerably within human populations, making it difficult to identify the sex of a skull without knowledge of the population from which it came. For any questions or advice, feel free to contact the Growing Dentist team. Thank you for watching this video. For questions or queries, kindly write us in the comment section below. 
and don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos of dentistry.